stepfather and I went down the hill to the woodlot behind the house, thinking to make firewood from some trees. I manned the skitter while he worked the saw. Diesel smoke and two strokes smoke, and the green scent of sawdust hanging bright in the October air. And within the first few minutes, he and I each nearly died at the other's hand. I had hopped down from the machine, tugging a cable from the braid to noose around a felled tree, when a down-sweeping birch whooshed alongside me to the ground. Its topmost leaves brushed down my face, the length of my chest, my legs. My stepfather hadn't seen me leave the machine. If it had fallen a moment sooner, if I'd been a couple feet closer, I'd have fallen with it. But it didn't, and I hadn't, so I was fine. We regarded each other wide-eyed from opposing ends of the clearing. Then I noosed the tree I'd come for, and ran a cable to the new birch too. Jogged back to the skitter, and winched them both in. And it was while I struggled to lock the machine into gear, aiming to drag the pole to the timber pile around the bend, that my stepfather stepped up alongside me. But I didn't see him there. I jumped the clutch, and the skitter stalled, its big back wheel lunging forward just enough to nudge my stepfather's shoulder hard, then roll back. It could so easily have kept mowing forward. He staggered a step and stared at the wheel, his expression all askance, like a stranger had come up and poked him unprovoked. Then he looked up at me. It was a long, still moment where neither of us said a word. We both knew. In his one hand, the chainsaw burbled and coughed. I turned the engine over, and it fired. We both went back to work. Um.